What's up, my immune friends? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and uh, welcome back to Miss Survival, where it's moving day. So I've gotten everything down from up here that I care about. I can't move the campfire. I guess I might as well take a, a couple of more crowbars. Why not? And a little bit more food. And I don't think I'm going to take this dresser with me. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. So I'm going to leave the stump here, too. But everything else is coming with me. Oh, I forgot. Oh, Totally forgot about this. Do I care about this? You know, I don't think I do. I'm gonna take the things I care about. I'm gonna leave that wood. And I'm gonna leave that uh, that suitcase. I'm not taking small small things. I used to take every back in the day, like my past videos. I would take every single small container there was in the game. But I'm not doing that again. It's just it's just a lot of moving stuff around for not very good reason. So where am I gonna be moving to? You might ask. Well, someone in Discord suggested that I move over here to this blue farmhouse. Now, there's a couple areas over here that I was looking at. Um, there's the farmhouse. This ends up being like an open, like, junkyard or something. Not, not a great place to live. And then over here used to be a big white house, but now it's just an open platform of nothingness. Uh, I think my favorite place was the blue house, so that's where we're going to be moving to. I've already uh, done one trip out there. Probably going to need to do a couple more. Um, what I'm going to do now is we are going to put all of the storage in here. Now, why am I moving? You may be asking, Cage, why are you moving? Um, this has been a pretty dope location. I'm not going to lie. But the thing is, you can't build here. Like, everything is... Oh, I'm in a box. Okay. You can't build here. Everything is on an angle. There's a big hill. You're not going to be able to, like, put down, like, walls properly. It's just going to be a big shit show. You could probably put a wall around the whole thing. But even then, you'd have to have the wall go up a hill. And the way the walls work in this game, they don't go up hills properly. It's just not a good spot. Um, to build. It's a great spot to live. If you don't care about building and you just want to have a place to live, it's a great spot. You, you can live here forever. It's a solid pl It's a solid spot. But I like to build. There's a lot of things to build in this game, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Now, I did build, you know, quite a few things here so far, uh, you know, as far as storage goes and everything, but that's okay. Uh, you know, it's, it's not that hard to get out there. Um, there is one, like, town you got to go through that's, like, in the middle of the road, like the road goes right through the town and there's barricades everywhere. So you kind of have to drive around it and, and there's bandits there. Now one, one day we're going to go in there, guns blaze and take out those punk ass bandits. But um, for now I'm just trying to avoid them, but you could just drive up and around. So it shouldn't be too big of a deal. I'm not sure if that's going to stay, but I'm just going to kind of load everything I can onto it. And um, you know, if I can't take everything, uh, Next trip, I might just rebuild stuff because uh, I don't want to be making like 50 trips out here. I've already made one trip. I'm definitely going to have to make this trip and one more. So three trips I think is enough. I'll, I'll bring whatever I can out there. And what I can't, I'll just rebuild depending on what it is and how hard it is to build. Now, how am I going to bring my survivors? Well, what I can do is th that house out there does not have a base, op a base of operations thing. It doesn't have one of these, right? The shelter command. But I can make my own shelter command, so that's not the end of the world. So my survivors are going to have to stay here for a little bit, but um, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. And once I get the... Really? All of them? Are you freaking serious? What the... F so apparently you can't put the big safes on the truck. I could not get it to stay on the truck, which is, uh, needless to say, extremely disappointing. Uh, so that means I'm going to have to like leave six big safes back there. Uh, you know, the, um, I don't remember exactly, they're not called safes, like, they're called, um, security lockers, right? So I'm gonna have to leave, I'm gonna have to leave, like, five of them back there, which is really annoying. Um, I also, I, honestly, even if they could fit on the truck, they wouldn't do me all that much good, because I did run one of the, first of all, I ran one of those security crates out to the new place I'm gonna be living, and it was a nightmare, and, you know, honestly, I wouldn't do it again anyway, uh, because it's just not worth it. Uh, second of all, I couldn't get the security uh, the security locker into the building. It will not go in the front door. So I have to, you know, I want all my, you know, storage to be inside. I want it to be in, you know, inside. I don't want to be like, on the front front lawn. Um, so I will have some lockers out on the front lawn, but not a lot. Uh, most of my security stuff is going to be inside. All right. So um, it's a bit of a bummer. You know, what are you going to do? Uh, what are you going to do? I, I got to move and... Um, I will stop worrying about it because I guess it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. All right, let me show you what I got going on on the pack of this. This is going to make you laugh. Also, there is a problem with wolves in this area. It's the only problem I had in this area is wolves. But you know what? It's going to be a source of food. So um, 
Hopefully it'll be okay. So look at what I got here, man. I can't believe how much stuff I could store on this thing. Like I'm, I'm, needless, needless to say, I'm absolutely amazed at how much stuff I could fit on this. So I'm only gonna have to make one more trip back to the, uh, back to the old camp, and I'm going to. Bring, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring a sledgehammer and I'm gonna destroy all those old security lockers. And, you know, I'm going to get some stuff back. Um, if I get the if I get the gears back, I'll be freaking thrilled. I don't know if this is going to be... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this in the door. Because of the way the door is. Let's see. Well, maybe. We'll give it a shot. If I have to, I'll just make a bed inside. Alright, come on. Dickhead. Oh, it's probably going to go up the stairs, too. Yeah, there's no way. That's not going up the stairs. Yeah, I'll just break it and make a new one. Uh, I'm not even going to worry about it. Like, just anything I can't fit in there... It is what it is. All right, let's grab this. I will show you inside really quick. And that freaking dog is scaring the shit. Man. I keep thinking he's the wolf. So this is going to be my storage area. Okay. I'll have storage lockers all the way to the end. And then I'll probably have some in here as well. Or maybe I'll put them against this wall. I haven't really decided about that yet. And this door pisses me off that it's open. And I'm going to like look for something to kind of like barricade that door. Uh, one thing I could do, like, as a last-ditch effort, if nothing else works, I can put livestock fence in there and kind of stack it on top of each other, and that would be good enough, but I'd prefer something solid. Uh, but the livestock fence will at least keep the bugs out. I went back to my original base, and I, first of all, it's going to be a little dark, I'm sorry, um, but it's just the timing. I'll, I'll brighten it up in editing. Um, I went back to my base, and I broke up those lockers. All the All the resources you put into those lockers, look at this. You put in four planks, eight metal scraps, eight components, and a gear. You know what you get back? You get back four measly pieces of wood. And not even the big planks. It's the it's those little planks. I, I don't know if I have any. I, I'm, my inventory is not exactly uh, organized right now. But what a what a garbage return. That is so bad. I can't believe how bad that is. All right. So you guys can be able to see. I'm going to go ahead and make some of these tiki torches. Um, I, I don't have enough room for all my stuff, and I don't have the resources I need to make more lockers. Now, what I could do is I could just uh, make regular lockers, but I don't want to make the regular lockers. It's kind of, I don't know, it feels like a waste of time. So I'm going to uh, just use up a lot of the resources on stuff I know I'm going to want to build around here. So right now I'm going to need sticks, and I'm going to need, I think I got them in here, Yeah, a couple, some of these, some of these... Uh, I'm going to have to turn these branches into sticks. There we go. This is going to be a great place to live, by the way. It's going to it's gonna really open everything up. Uh, I want to get Scott and the other chick down here, so i got to like build something for them. Um, oh, I need a knife, too. Uh, so I'm going to get to work on that. And I also need to keep a lookout for more gears. I need a lot more gears. No, no joke. So we're going to go ahead and make this, and you guys will be able to see. All right, let's go ahead and uh, how do we add fuel Q? Fill that up. Um, I did not get myself a match, which was a mistake, but that's okay. I got some, I got some matches over here somewhere. There we go. And we will light you. Beautiful. I love these standing torches. They give a lot of light and they're relatively cheap. I love them. Maybe one more downstairs will be the, well, I don't know, but I don't know what I'm going to do with this room. I keep forgetting about that room. All right. Up here is going to be my bedroom. Th that room right there is bigger. But I like this room because it's farther away from the stairs. Easier to defend in case anything breaks in. Can anything break in in this game? I don't think so anymore. Uh, but I'm just kind of role-playing at that point just for fun. All right. There we go. And now we're going to put whatever we can into here. But we're going to need a hammer. And I'm still encumbered. What the hell is encumbering me so much? Uh, I don't see anything really super-duper heavy on me. But I don't know. Apparently I have something super-duper heavy on me. What are you going to do? All right, I do have a hammer down here, so let's go ahead and grab that. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to pick it up with how overweight my character is right now. Nope. All right, so I'm going to throw that down, and I'm going to throw some of these. Oops. I want to do that. There we go. Okay, now I can move. Shut up, wolf. I'm going to kill that freaking wolf. He's going to be so dead. All right, there we go. And we're going to need um, some more nails and... 12 planks and I'm gonna need to drink something I do have some some drink down here I did bring all my you know stuff over including the uh, DIY pure water purifier but I'm gonna have to get some water and fill it up pretty soon 
And, you know, I don't know if there's any water super close to me, but I should be able to get over to this water source relatively um, painlessly. We'll have, to, we'll have to see how that goes. So I ran in my house and I heard something at the door and it was a wolf, but this says it's a brown bear, but it's not a brown bear. It's a wolf. And I think my dog killed him. I have no freaking clue. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and harvest them because I can. And uh, hopefully the meat and the, uh, the the animal fat doesn't go bad. But whatever. He's just going to lay there anyway. So there's no there's no reason not to do this. Alright. Hard to use. Yeah. I don't want to use anything that's hard to use. It's fine. Yeah. That is really, really interesting. And uh, that did distract me. So now I don't remember what the hell I was doing. Oh yeah. I need logs. Okay. So if we're going to need logs. I'm going to have to. Yeah. This stuff's probably going to go bad. Because I'm not really ready. But like I said. He was already dead. So it. There's a reason not to kill him. All right, so we got some planks here. Some logs there that we can't pick up because we're too encumbered. Um, I do have some water here. Not a lot of water left, man. Like, I'm going to have to go ahead and get water, like, tomorrow. I need water. I need gears. I need to get Scott and everyone over here so Scott can start cutting down trees. Honestly, that other chick can kind of stay where she is. She's freaking useless. Um, but, yeah, I do need Scott. My big, giant, comfy bed is now done. And we're going to sleep for two hours because there is a mist. And I'd also like to get some fatigue back. I'm going to wake up. We're going to eat. And then we're going to go get some water. Now, I did make two. I did make two buckets. Now, you can, like, um, you can go out there with, like, a water container. Oh, what can you? Actually, did they take that out of the game? Because I don't remember seeing it. Let's take a look really quick. There used to be a water container you could, like, carry water in. But I'm not seeing it now. I think they might have taken it out of the game. Oh, how about that? Yeah, they did. Unless it's somewhere else. I'm not seeing it. I don't think it's in here. Yeah, if it's if it's still in the game, let me know. But there used to be like this giant water container you could like fill up. But like, it's just easier to move the buckets around. Maybe that's why they took it out of the game. I don't know. But we're going to go check it out. And how's my hit points? I'm doing okay. The wolf out here. All right. But yeah, the, the wolf's going to be a little bit of a, of a, a little bit of an irritation. Because, like, if I go out, I don't want to, like, attack some bandits. I don't want to go in not full hit points. You know what I mean? So, it's kind of annoying, but we'll see. All right, let's 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 get on the road so the wolf doesn't mess with us. Uh, one of the cool things about living here is we're really close to the cement slash concrete area. Um, again, this could have changed, but last time I played the game, uh, we're right here. And this is where you get all the concrete and cement. It's really, really good thing because you need it for the uh, garage. Also, we're really close to the old mine, which is great. So, um, it's not a bad spot to live. It really isn't. Okay, so we come out here. We make a right. We make our next left. Our next left. Let's take a look. Hopefully there's no bandits down there. That'd be great. Uh, is that the left? I can't tell. I should get out and look. Um, no. Kind of looked like it might have been a road, but... Is that the left? That's the left. And it looks like it goes to a bandit camp. Alright, that's the water down there. I can see it. Yeah, it looks like there's a bandit camp over there. Right there. So, that'll be something we'll have to kind of take a look at later. Uh, as long as they don't mess with me down. Oh, that's... Is that the church? Oh, I remember the church. Okay. Cool. Uh, fill bottles. And we're going to fill this. That'll hold 10 liters. The other one will hold another 10 liters. All right. Hey, my dog's... Jesus, he's walking on water. Oh, never mind. Not anymore, he's not. <laughs> he's just... Freaking Jesus dog. Well, I wouldn't name him Jesus, but he kind of sank. He thinks he's Jesus. My dog's got a messiah complex. <laughs> All right, let's get back and cook this water up. Want to loot this place, but we're going to have to cut down some trees first. We got to get Scott. I want to get Scott over here in this video. Um, in order to do that, we're going to... There's a couple different ways you can do that. There's a couple different things you can build uh, to get people over. You can build a basic shelter and just get them over here like that. That's kind of lame. But the hunting cabin's kind of beyond my reach. So I think the small cabin will be a good way to get Scott over here. And I guess the lady could come too, but... I don't really care about her. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and just, I guess we'll just put this down right here. Seems like a pretty good, well, it's in the way of the window, but whatever. I don't really think I care that much. Alright, is that good? Um, 
Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Now, is that lined up? It doesn't look lined up here, but I think it is. It's just the angle. I'm pretty sure that's lined up properly. We'll save it just in case. So we got to make that. Um, we also have to get that water thingy going. So we're just going to pick up some stuff. Okay. And then I'm going to put this away. And I'm going to take my knife. And if you use the knife on trees, you get uh, bark. I also want to loot this area. So. See the bark falling off? Look at that. See? Lots of bark. Okay. So, um, I do need to make firewood. I did see some firewood over here. I'm just going to loot it. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to throw these down right here. And then we're going to go grab that firewood. Um, I did see some firewood over here. Uh, there it is. Leave the axe there for now. I think I need four things of firewood, though. Really? You're only going to give me three things of firewood and I need four? You lousy, no good piece of... You're trash. You're garbage. All right. Let's see if I need four. I'm pretty sure I need four, but um, we'll, we'll double check before I start freaking out about it. Um, where the hell is I going? Oh, yeah. Right here. Uh, yep. I told you. Damn it. All right. Fair enough. So um, uh, we need to make the stump again. So the stump is right here. And I guess I'll just put it right here. It seems like a pretty good spot for it. So we'll pick these two up and we'll make that. And then we will uh, cut some firewood. So you can only fit 16 liters in this thing. So that's what I put in there. And it is uh, coming out. Let's go ahead and take that out. I don't know how much. I don't know if 16 liters or more can fit in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that out. And our water is now taken care of. So food and water is no longer an issue right now. Um, I think what I'm going to do next is we are going to put down, if I can, let's see what we need to make it. We might not be able to make it because I think we need a gear for it. But we're going to go ahead. Oh, did he take out that too? No, he didn't. It's right there. Yeah, any gears for it. Never mind. I was going to put down the saw machine because that's a better way to, you know, saw stuff. Go kill that wolf, man. It's a better way to saw stuff with the saw machine. Uh, but the fact of the matter is I don't have the gears. And uh, we're not going out and looting today. So I will not be having the gears today. So it is what it is. So we're just going to have to um, take these and chop them up. There we go. Now this takes a really long time. So let me just uh, chop all these into planks. And then we will uh, go ahead and build up that. I really wish you would kill that guy. All right. Anyway, we will. Um, I'll, I'll chop all these up. I'm going to need 20 of these. And then we'll go out there and build that thing. We'll get Scott over here and get him chopping down some trees for me. Just slept through most of the night. Got up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, I did get a chance to cook the food, uh, which is awesome. So we're going to go ahead and eat that. I can't turn any more into uh, dry meat because I don't have any room on the drying rack. All right, so we're also going to have to drink something. Yeah, the food is making me a little nervous. That can you're looking at my inventory, I think it's my last can of food. So, yeah, it's going to be go time. All right, so we don't need this. We can turn that off. I know this is pitch dark. Bear with me. It won't be dark for long. There we go. What's up, dog? All right, so there we go. That's all the biofuel we got in there, which is great. I'm going to go ahead and fill this up which is awesome. And we should have everything we need to build that thingamabob outside. So let me go ahead and save the game in case that wolf takes a bite out of my ass. And I know this is a little dark, just bear with me. This time's gonna go by pretty quick here. So, um, oh, we okay, hold on. We still need one thing to be able to finish it. And also I should turn off those lights since I'm gonna be doing this. That, that would be a mistake to leave those on. I do have to organize, I'll organize between this and next video. I've got too much shit I wanna do this video. Uh, 8 and 8, 16, we need 10, so yeah, we should be good to go. Uh, let's turn that off. And that off. It's going to be dark, but don't worry, guys. The sun's going to come up because time's going to go by really quick. Damn, set I didn't know it was like 8 hours, man. Okay. So I think you could stop at one point and, um, yeah, you can press C to stop. So I'm going to press C to stop and I'm going to go ahead and get my water. Yeah, I, I, I knew it would be a while. I didn't know it would be eight hours long. So that's, you know, <laughs> I'm glad I made some food because I'm definitely going to have, I'm definitely going to need it. My goodness. And again, we'll save in case that wolf, because if that wolf attacks us while we're building it, we'll pretty much get killed. So let's just, uh, there we go. All the wood is in there. Now the components. 
I will have Scott here. Check. My main concern here was to get myself to where I could live here. Food, drink, storage. My second concern was to get Scott here so he could build stuff, so he could chop stuff down. You can also have people do tasks, or at least he used to be able to. Back in the day, you know, a few updates ago, you could have people do tasks. Like if I set this up, I could have someone chop wood for me. But I don't think it worked last season. I don't really remember, honestly, but I'm pretty sure it was broken um, last season. So it is what it is. Right, let's come in here. Let's uh, let's go ahead and eat first. Because eating does dehydrate you more. So if you're at zero water, you might as well eat. It just makes sense. Now, I should be able to bring my people here now. Is the wolf going to kill him? I don't think so. But whatever. We'll see. All right. So now if I make this my base... Uh, make this your active base. My people should show up here. Uh, yep, there's one of them. Where's Scott? Scott's the one I really care about. No, no offense to you, but Scott's the one. Scott's the one that's going to lead us to the promised land. Where the hell is Scott? He could be He could be in a lot of different places. Oh, he's on the roof. Okay, well, there you go. Um, can I get up there? I should be able to. I bet you I can jump on this and then jump up there to talk to Scott. There we go. Kind of, but not really. All right, I simply drove the truck over here, and that allowed me to get up there. I'm also going to drop this in here. I'm going to be taking these gloves with me to, to deal with traders, because I think uh, I can get a lot of those gloves, and they're not really good for anything. All right, um, assign work. Actually, let's um, let's hold off on that for now. Let's look at his status. Yeah, okay. All right, so we'll take these, and then we will assign work. Cut down trees. Uh, for three hours, abortive inventory is full. Pick up the logs, pick up the leaves, leave the stumps. All right, go at it, buddy. You do you. Do you. We're going to have to really go on a big loot run next episode, by the way. Yeah, he's... Okay, he's... Okay, let's go ahead and loot now. I think we're good to go in this area. I will pick up everything as well. Hopefully I have room for it. I'll have room for it in my vehicle, but, man, like, there's not a lot of room inside the base, unfortunately. Uh, so that kind of sucks. But, like I said, that's why we're going to go on a loot run next episode for sure. Oh, wow. I'm going to leave that stuff there for now. Because I don't know where to put it anyway. Come over here. Grab those. What are those green bottles for? I don't remember. I think they're to make booze. And you need booze to make... Your um, bandages, if I remember correctly. This is a uh, vehicle I can um, I can fix up, so that would be wonderful. Um, I think that's the one you need to put the turret on top, so we will fix that up at some point. All right, so he's doing his thing. All right, we're going to look over here. I'm not seeing anything. Let's look out here. I think there's supposed to be a bag around here somewhere, like a bag upgrade. Inventory upgrade. Okay. There it is. Awesome. Why are they all only two slots? I don't think I've gotten a three slaughter yet. Uh, okay, I guess I can't take those. I would like to get on top of this. I'd like to get a shotgun. That's like the last gun I need. I mean, honestly, like when I have the rifle, I guess it really doesn't matter. But I don't think there's anything up there anyway. What's up, dog? What's up, doggo? Alright, what do we got over here? I don't like the wood scraps. Although, I guess I should pick them up. If, if nothing else, to get in the hell out of there. Alright, I do not want to be encumbered. So we'll throw that down. Let's empty some stuff out and continue looting. Alright, I think Scott's broken still. Because what the hell is he chopping down? Why is my spear in there? <laughs> Must have dropped my spear. Hey, Scott. Can I look at your inventory? Inventory. Yeah, Scott's broken. Damn it! Alright, so there's one other thing I can do with Scott, and I think I'll mess around with him in between this video and next. Oh, no, he's chopped stuff down. He's just not picking up the logs. Okay. Alright, so he's not completely broken. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do with him uh, between this and next episode, or I might actually do it next episode, is we are going to make a basic shelter out here where the trees are and then we'll make that our home let scott chop and then un and then put the other one as our home 
So I can kind of like use these basic shelters to move the NPCs around where I would like them to be. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's a good idea. I don't know. We'll see. Because right now he's just on top. I think he's chopping down trees. Basically what he's doing is he's chopping down the trees whether he get, get to them or not. So he's kind of stuck there. Right? And he's chopping down the trees over here. But because he can't get over here, he's not picking up the logs. Which means I have to. It's not really a big deal. The problem is um, now that there's a weight system, you can't just carry out a billion logs. So that's a bit that's a bit annoying. So we'll have to see how we'll see how that goes. Maybe, maybe once I reset the game, he'll like get down off the roof and stay down. All right, where's my spear? That's what I'm gonna need if I get attacked by the wolf. Car battery. I'll leave that there for now. Okay, so this place is completely looted. We have moved in. I've got my food, my food taken care of, my thirst taken care of, storage taken care of. We've got all our people here. Scott is cutting down trees, although not perfectly, but he is cutting down trees, and that is wonderful. I think we're going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Until then, take it easy. And for you super fans that stuck around to the end of the video, I got a little bit of bonus commentary for you. So. Check this out. I didn't notice in the items tab that there was a separate, there were separate categories over here. I'm going to go through and see if there were separate categories anywhere else. That I knew about these. I knew about these. I knew about these. And I knew about these. Okay. So check this out. You can make the water barrel that I was talking about earlier this episode. And you can make a DIY water tank, which is used to make a small supply uh, water supply system. I don't think this is really needed. Right now in the game, but it's pretty interesting. Also, log cart. Unbelievable. So I got to go back to my old base and get the wheels. See those wheels right there? I'm going to go back to my base and get the wheels. Basic cart can contain anything. Wood items, dead animal, or furniture. It can hold up. Oh. Okay. So can the wood, can the basic cart hold, oh, I don't know. The, secu the storage lockers, the security storage lockers? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I can't get those in this house, but I could always use them outside. So maybe I could still, maybe I can make this and, you know. Oh, wow. That's really great. That's, I, I would love that log cart. That's going to really help. And then a healing station, a place to heal survivors. Okay. Well, guys, um, that is freaking amazing. So I wanted to uh, do a little bit of uh, bonus commentary for you guys because you're awesome and stayed around to the end of the video. Uh, that's the real end of the video, and I'll see you next time.